Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Assalamu Alaikum. Salaam Khan here. And today we see the next classification of a signal, which I did not mention, I believe, in the introduction video. But this is again something important. And today we see the even and odd signals. All right. So I give the heading is even and odd. Okay. Now the book has discussed the periodic signal and non-periodic signals before this topic but i will discuss it after this because i was not uh, that topic i had not prepared it well and it needs a little detail more than the book has discussed so first we discuss this even and odd signal so for a signal to be even the criteria is what for a signal to be even the basic criteria is on the time reversal so if you time reverse a signal and it is equal to the original signal such type of a signal is called as an even signal so which means that if i say x of t is the original signal and x of negative t is the time reversed signal so these two are going to be equal for the even case is that fine okay now if i have an example so so let's say that right here it's like this okay so i name it x of t and it is like this So, so, so make it equal, okay? Make these both equal. So, what do you have in this case is that have a look. If you time reverse it, if this is the positive portion of the uh, of the time axis, and if this is the case, so if you time reverse it, which means if you take the mirror image of the y axis, so it is the same function as x of t. So, which means that x of negative t is equal to x of t. And in this case, we have it as an even function. Now, such type of a signal is what? So, I can conclude from here that it is symmetric about the y-axis. The signal is symmetric about the y-axis. Now, I would have to a little, you know, keep my volume down because the weather is getting hotter and it is Ramadan, so we are fasting. So, I would keep it a little low okay so this is for even signal fine similarly you can have other examples as well and if you want me to draw it over here let's say so let's say this is a function so this is again an even function fine and similarly the sine wave is also an even function or the cause wave is an even function so we'll see it is the cause wave which is an even function this is the cause wave which is an even function is that okay now for the odd signals so in the backward in the in the background you will be listening a noise of a of a child so this basically is my smaller cousin and i told him to keep quiet and i he was sitting here and i told him to go and now he's saying that I would be making noise outside. <laughs> so I think he's quiet now. Okay. So no problem. For odd signal. So for odd signal, what happens is that it does not remain the same when it is time folded. And x of t in this case is equal to negative times x of negative t. So for even signal, I can write it as that the signal that the signal remains identical signal remains identical after time reversal or you know that scaling of that uh, what inversion or folding whatever you call it okay so for for, for the odd signal now the signal uh, does not remain the same okay so for odd signal i would just mention it over here that the signal does not remain and this red color 
goes to odd signal fine in this case you when you time reverse the signal it is it also is amplitude reversed fine now if i give you an example of it so i i have i probably would have a wave over here so i i've written over here is the sine wave fine so i have written over here is the sine wave so let's say i i would draw it for you guys an example of the odd signal is the sine wave which is like this so let's say i consider it in the first period so I have a look if this is x of t for this time interval 0 to pi so what happens is when you time reverse it so I have a look in the negative region it is equal to negative of the of the original signal which means it has been amplitude reversed or if, if you want me to draw it so x of t is this now negative of x of t would be what it would be like this so have a look over here for negative t what is the value the value is negative times x of t and similarly overall so for an odd signal is it's a sign of the sign signal is an odd signal okay now an odd signal must be zero at t is equal to zero this is an important property that an odd signal must be zero at t is equal to zero and why is this i would just tell you in a while okay now why is this why is this so so have a look we know that x of t would equal negative x of negative t isn't it so for an odd signal right so for t is equal to zero for t is equal to zero if you put t is equal to zero so you should have x of zero this would be equal to negative times x of zero so which means now if you have the value of x of 0 as 2 so the negative of x of 0 would be negative 2 which means 2 is equal to negative 2 is not possible any value any value n let's say any value x of 0 is any value n and it is equal to negative n from this case so for an odd signal it is equal to negative n so this is not possible which means that the signal must be 0 so for this case if this x of 0 is 0 so negative of 0 would be again 0 and this is possible for an odd signal is that fine and we have also another property that the average value of a of an odd signal is zero okay so i will write it over here that the average or we also call it the dc value so the average or dc value of an odd signal is zero and you can see it from the simple example of the sine wave the same portion is above the x-axis the same portion is above the up, up, below the x-axis they cancel out the effect of features and the net effect is that the average value of this function is zero is that okay so the an even signal is symmetric about the x-axis and about the y-axis yes about the y-axis an odd signal is anti-symmetric about the x-axis anti-symmetric about the x-axis which means it's symmetric once you multiply it with a negative one so this is the basic idea of an even and odd signal for an even signal after time reversal the signal is the same for an odd signal after time reversal the signal has been amplitude reversed as well this is the conclusion of it now i have another uh, uh, point in this signal for which of in this video which for which i would remove all of the board okay all right so the point is that we uh, that if we have any general function okay we don't know whether it is even we don't know whether it is odd now let me tell you we also have signals that are neither energy nor power uh, sorry neither even nor odd signal depending on the criteria that we just discussed you time reverse it it's neither equal to the same signal neither it is equal to the amplitude reverse signal so you have what in that case it's neither odd nor even okay so <clears throat> any signal any general signal can be written in components form 
and what are those components so that is an even component and an odd component so i will write over here is that any signal and over here specifically it is given to be a continuous time signal any signal can be represented as a sum of even and odd signal all right a given general signal is not even or odd okay so so that you can write it for yourself now any signal can be represented now let me check this point in the book let me confirm it i have written in my notes is that any continuous time signal can be written so let me check that if you have any continuous time Well, they have not. Uh, no. It is also true for the discrete time case as well. Okay, so they've written in the book that that any signal, any signal can be represented as a sum of even or odd signal, and this any signal could imply to continuous time signals and discrete time signals, both of them. Okay. Now, a general signal is neither even nor odd. So what do I write here? Let's say I say that any general signal is x of t and this is equal to the E1 component of t plus the odd component of t, x of t. Fine. This is what I have said from the definition. Definition, And let's say this is equation number 1. Now if I time reverse this signal, so which means that time reverse. That is what the t is equal to negative t in 1 so 1 would imply what that x of t no x of negative t is equal to the e1 component negative t plus the odd component negative t now from the definition we know so if i write x of negative t so this is equal to the even component if 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 this is an even component so this means that if it is time reverse so this will remain identical so x even of negative t would equal x even of t and similarly if this is an odd component so if you time reverse it it would be amplitude reversed so now you can write it as negative x or of negative t let me name it equation number two is that fine now to find out the E1 component of any given general signal, what do we do is we add one into for E1 component what do you do? 1 plus 2 fine, so this would imply like this that x of t plus x of negative t this is equal to x E1 of t plus x odd of t plus x even of uh, of t again and negative x odd of t so which implies that x odd would cancel out with x odd so which means that if two times x even of t so if we have to find out the e1 component x e1 component of any signal x of t so we do what we have the value x of t we have the functions x of negative t and we multiply it with the factor 1 over 2 is that fine similarly for odd component you have the same procedure for odd component you have 1 minus 2 okay so 1 minus 2 would imply what it would imply that x of t minus x of negative t this is equal to x e1 of t plus x odd of t then we have a negative x e1 of t and then we would have a positive x odd of t i hope this is clear because these are simple points so in this case e1 e1 will cancel out we have two times x odd of t so this would imply that x odd of t would be equal to what x of t uh, negative x negative t and it would be multiplied with a factor of 1 over 2 is that okay 
So this I discussed was for this for the the continuous time signal. Similarly, you can have it for the discrete time signals as well. Fine, and you can do the derivations and stuff yourself in the very same way and it would be again the same x e1 of n would be 1 over 2 times x of n plus x of negative n and similarly x or of n would be equal to 1 over 2 times x of n minus x of negative n and that's all that's all about this lecture that's about the even and odd signals once again if i generalize this so an even signal is what an even signal is a signal if you time reverse it it would remain the same so it is symmetrical about the y-axis for an odd signal if you time reverse it it would be amplitude reversed as well which means that it would be anti-symmetric about the y-axis so I don't have the stamina to make another video. I woke up early today to get a haircut and uh, it is Friday as well. So we had to offer the Friday prayers well in time. I planned to make two videos today. The next video properties of you and not signal, but you know, I cannot make it today. I will go to sleep and that will be in the next video. So see you very soon inshallah. Till then take care of yourselves and everyone around you. And do remember me in your prayers and do subscribe to the YouTube channel. Goodbye.